Moving west to Bruton, people are counting their blessings after tropical weather tore through homes on Riddle Road, sending at least one man to the hospital. High winds tossed his trailer like a rag doll with a 70 year old man inside. Chad Petrie shows us his story. This is storm damage along Riddle Road. The riddle here, how did some people survive? The trailer just exploded. That's about the only way I can describe it. Hank Riddle's trailer sat up here, but Saturday's high winds tossed it hundreds of feet, shredding it and sending him flying. Riddle's grandson was first on the scene. I knew I knew he was dead until I seen his head pop up. I was scared to death until I seen him. But when I got happy, I was happy he was alive. Hank Riddle lost his home and a life's worth of stuff, but he's just happy to have a life to continue. I'm mighty glad I survived, and I'll tell you that. It was a scary thing, but, you know, so fast you didn't have time to, to get, you know, be scared. I talked to Riddle as he recovers in a Florida hospital and spoke to family members as they salvaged what they could. It's just devastating to see my dad work so hard for everything he had, and my dad's a good man, and... I'm still in shock, tell you the truth, sir. Across the street, the storm gutted this home. Mary Carmichael shows me what's left from the inside. She says she and her husband took cover under a mattress as parts of their home crashed on top of them. Terrifying seconds felt like hours. When it lifted us off the floor, yeah. it was pulling us off the floor. And yeah, you, you, didn't, you just didn't think it was going to. Stop. The storm stops as the recovery begins. In Bruton, Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5.